Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. In today's video, we are doing a little de-stash. I am going through one of my many boxes that I have sitting around in my house full of nail polish. Uh, this is one of the boxes that was actually a leftover for when I had my polish somewhat organized by color. So a lot of these, if not all, are going to be in the purple family. So you may have seen me go through some of my polishes when I was on the hunt for my enchanted polishes. Now I'm going through this particular box specifically to find polishes for my D-stash because uh, it's about time. <laughs> I have already tried this at least one time and not gotten very successful at getting rid of too many, but we'll see how this one goes. I've preemptively looked at at least one corner of the box and I do see at least a couple that I will be getting rid of for my de-stash. So let's go ahead and get started and let's just go ahead and pull out one that I know I'm going to de-stash. This is from Butter London. This is Brownwin's Feather. It's just a very, very dark purple and it is a gorgeous color. I just, I haven't worn it since I got it. And at this point, I just think it would be better off getting it into someone else's hands that will actually wear and appreciate it. So we're off to a great start. We already have one polish to put in my de-stash from Butter London. The next polish that we're gonna look at, ooh, it needs a really good shake, but this is from Fair Maiden. This is called Duchess. I'm probably going to be keeping this one. I really like the mix of glitter. You've got holographic in there, loads of shimmer. This is somewhat of a purple polish. I think my bottle may have done a little bit of fading, but it's still gorgeous. So I will try to come back at some point and do swatches of this just to make sure that I want to keep it. But for the time being, it's going in the keep pile. Next up is one from Jindy Nails. This one is called That Purple Ish. And I will be keeping this one. I really like the mix of this. This could make a really fun spring or summer polish. It's a glitter curly. It does need a really good shake and possibly some thinner, but it's a brand that I don't believe is being made anymore. I could be mistaken. I got all of my Jindy nail polish in a de-stash, so I'm not too sure about that. If you know, feel free to let me know. Um, but I thought that their polishes were really fun. This one has such a variety of colors going on in it, different sizes and shapes, hollow, metallic, matte. So really fun. That's going in the keep pile. The next one is from Supernatural Lacquer. This one is Magnificent, Marvelous, and Mad. I will be keeping this as well. This one has a really beautiful, somewhat gray base full of flakies and shimmer. I was really into this type of polish. The And sorry if my camera's shaking. <laughs> I actually have Willa up in the top shelf of the bookshelf that my camera mount is attached to. And right now when she's moving, it's sort of shaking the camera. Hopefully that's not too <laughs> noticeable for you guys. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was really into this type of polish, the sort of gray base with a purple to pink shift or a flash. So I will be keeping this one. I was really happy with how this one turned out on the nail. Next up is one from Zombie Claw. This one is called Ice Cutioner. This is from the MK Fatalities collection. MK? Mortal Kombat, I think. <laughs> wow, had to really think about that one for a while. Uh, but this one I'm definitely keeping. This is a beautiful purple bomb, full of flakies, full of shimmer. I think it's got tiny little flecks of either a larger particle of shimmer or a mini holographic in there. I don't even know if that's going to come across, but see those little blue twinkles down here? Really like how that turned out. So that one's a keeper. Next up is one from Butter London. This one is No More Weighty Katie. I will be keeping this one. This, I think, might have been the first Bees Knees lacquer. Bees Knees. <laughs> I think this might have been the first Butter London polish that I picked up in a D-stash many, many years ago. And so for that reason, it sort of holds a special place in my heart. Plus, it's a really unique polish. It is a gray base full of purple glitter. And I still don't have anything else quite like this in my collection. So I will be keeping that. Next up is one of my ILNPs. This one is called Electric Carnival. I think this is one of my more recent purchases from them, and I say more recent, meaning not my first purchase from them. <laughs> um, this, I think, is, is one that came out in the last few years. Um, my original purchase from them was from 2017 or, or 18. Yeah, somewhere around there. Could have been even 2016. Um, but really fun 
uh, flaky polish. If you are looking for this type of flaky polish, I would definitely suggest checking them out if you haven't already. It is one of the types of polishes that really introduced me to the brand and I have been in love with the polishes. As you can see, they definitely are somewhat scattered in the formulation so you can use them nicely as toppers. I think this one's over like a navy blue, mid-tone to navy blue. Um, but this one shifts from electric greens to golds to pinks to purples and blues. I don't know if even half of those colors are going to be showing up on camera, but it's beautifully shifty. I will definitely be keeping that one. Next up is one from China Glaze. This one is called Don't Mesh With Me. I was going to say I think this came out in one of their My Little Ponies collections, but I could be confusing it with one of their toppers that did come out in the My Little Pony collection. In any case, I'm keeping this one. It's a really beautiful shimmer topper. And again, sorry about the wiggles. Willa is still up there uh, cleaning herself, apparently. Um, but I really like this one. I think it's a really fun topper, so we'll be keeping that at least until I can come back and do some side-by-side -side comparisons to some of my shimmer toppers. Next up is another from Fair Maiden. This one is You Betcha. This came out in the, uh, I think, PolishCon 2018. Uh, exclusive. I got this through a fairy, I believe. I was just talking to someone about uh, about Polish Con and co Polish conventions in general, and I had to look up when I had originally bought from Polish Con because I never went. I only was able to get a fairy back in 2018, so I'm pretty sure this is one of those polishes that I got, and I will definitely be holding on to it. It's another polish that's really beautiful and unique. It is more in the gray family, but it's got multi-chrome flakies and holographic micro flakies, or maybe just holographic glitter, but it's a gorgeous polish. I will be keeping that one. Next up is one from Pure Ice. This one is called Moonlight. And I will probably be keeping this at least until I can come back and do some side-by-side -side comparisons to other polishes. What I like about this is, as you can see, it's got that sort of glass fleck shimmer going on. I don't know that it's gonna come across too much on the nail because on my swatch, you really can't see it at all. I'm wondering if I forgot to put a top coat on it. Uh, or what the case might be, but I'll have to come back and see some comparisons or practice swatches on my nails and see if I like that one. But I've been trying to hold on to at least most of my pure ices, the ones that I think I'll wear because they don't make them anymore. So that's uh, sort of for nostalgic reasons as well. So uh, next up is one from Sinful Colors. This one is called Liquid Iris and I will most definitely be keeping this one. This is a gorgeous purple polish with a flash to it and it's got like a micro glass fleck silver going on. I don't know if you can see that in the blue flash, those little flecks. Really beautiful and unique. I'll have to come back again and see about comparing this to some of my indie polishes, but I really like it, so we'll be holding on to that. Next up, we've got another one from Sinful Colors. This one is called Desert Rain. And I will definitely be holding on to this one as well. This one came out in the Crystal Shimmer Stoned Collection, and I wish I had bought more of these. I think I only ended up with two in this finish, and I really like it. It is somewhat of a translucent to light icy silver fleck in the finish, and I don't have a lot of polish in general from even indie brands that have this kind of finish on them, so I will definitely be keeping that. I still need to get this one on my nails, though. Next up is a little guy from Oily. This is part of their Color Blast collection, so this one is an 11 milliliter bottle. And this one is called Indigo Color Flip, and I think I actually will be de-stashing this. Um, it's really pretty. It's got a load of flakies in here, sort of a glass fleck size, and it's got a lovely shift to gold in it, but I feel like I could probably duplicate this in an in indie that I already have, so we will be adding this one to my de-stash. Yeah, I finally have a second one I was able to de-stash. Okay. Up next is one from Leisha's Lacquer. This one is called Hallucinatory. And I will be keeping this again until I can come back and do some comparisons because I have a tendency of grabbing this type of purple and polish in general quite a lot. It has a load of flakies in it. I think this has a combination of multi-chrome and iridescent. Okay, hang on. Willoughby, you just can't stop bathing, sweetie. Come here. Okay, I had to move Willa. She was just shaking the camera a little too much. Um, but it's a beautiful combination of multi-chrome flakies as well as iridescent flakies, I think. 
plus glass flex shimmer in there. It's a party in a bottle, somewhat reminiscent of polishes that I get from brands like Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. They do polishes like this quite a lot, so I'll have to do some comparisons at some point, but for the time being, it's a keeper. Up next is one from Baroness X. This is in a galaxy per per away, and I will most definitely be keeping this. This was the one and only box that I got from them. I keep saying I need to go back and see if they're still doing the box, but uh, the box that I got was a couple of years ago. A few actually by now. Ooh, how long ago was that? Oh, I don't know how long ago it was, but the theme was cats in space. So they were doing cat themes, cat names, but they were also doing plays on like Star Trek names as well. So it was a really fun box. She did such a good job putting together the theme and I, it was a blast to look at. So I'm most definitely keeping this. And like I said, I need to go back and see if they're just still doing boxes and I would be thrilled <laughs> if they did another cats in space theme. Most definitely. All right, the next one is a Revlon. This one is called Stormy Night. And I will be holding on to this again until I can come back and do some comparisons to polishes that I have in this color. This was a very specific color that I was looking for a few years back. I saw someone wearing it and you know how it goes. You see it and you're like, ooh, I must have that color. So I went directly to Walmart, tried to find a color in that family. I ended up finding one in Sally Hansen and Offhand, I don't remember what color that was, but then later on I was at Big Lots and I found this one and I ended up buying it and turns out they were like exact dupes. For the time being, I'll hold on to it. It's one of those colors that I, I really, really, like I said, was specifically looking for. It's a really neat color, sort of a ever so slightly purple leaning grayish really, really beautiful. So I will hold on to that one for the time being. How many times can I say that? About one polish. <laughs> Up next is one from Deborah Lippman. This is a Wicked Game, and I will be holding on to this one. Again, probably going to have to come back and see if I can compare this to a few polishes that are somewhat similar in this type of shimmer, but for the time being, I'll keep it. Um, it's one of those classics from this brand, so we'll see if I end up finding a dupe for it here when I get around to doing my comparisons, but it's a really beautiful shimmer polish. Next is one from Polish. This one is called Storm Cage. And I think I'm holding on to this one as well. This one is a fairly unique polish full of iridescent flakies. And then it's got these like white gold flakies in there as well. And I love that type of flaky. I don't think it's the exact same type of flaky that was in Glam polishes, I will keep these lights on until the day I die, something along those lines. And it has like real white gold or platinum flakes in it. So it's a real metal and it looks completely different than any other flakies that I have in any other polish. And I don't think these are quite like it, but they're similar enough that I really, really like this. So I will be keeping that. Next up is another zombie claw. This one is called Caladora. This came out in the Ooh, what is TIS? The Indie Shop, I think, exclusive for 2019. Another pretty unique polish to my collection, sort of a grayy mauve, and it has a mix of iridescent flakies in there, as well as a little bit of red glitter. I don't know if that's showing up. It is kind of scattered, but you can see one right there. Really cute combination. There's also some holographic in there, so I will be keeping that. Oh, and look, some larger hex like matte silver glitters. Again, super unique to my collection. Up next is another from Pure Ice. This one is called Purple Rain, and I will definitely be keeping this one. This is sort of a classic to me anyways in this brand, and I really, really like it. It is a unique shade of almost like a berry-toned purple mauve-leaning color and it's got glass fleck in it. It's a really beautiful polish, and again, they don't make pure ice anymore, so the ones that I really do enjoy and imagine myself wearing here in the future, I will be holding on to, so we're keeping that in the keep pile. Up next is one of my juleps. This one is called Evelyn. I will most definitely have to pull this one out and compare it to some of my Zoyas. I feel like I have a shade very similar to this in Zoya, but it's a really beautiful berry shade, so for the time being, I'll hold on to it. It's a gorgeous shade. I will say it has a little bit of like a 
evaporation issue. I was running into that quite a lot with my juleps. I don't know what causes it. And it's kind of a bummer because these are small bottles. They're only eight ml. So when you lose that much from evaporation and you've, ne you've never worn the polish, it's sort of a bummer, uh, but it's a gorgeous color. So I'll have to compare it and see if I can find a dupe. Next up is one from Sally Hansen. This is part of their complete salon manicure line. And this is Grage in uh, Grage Gardens. And I guess they've trademarked the term grage. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but this is, well, it's a grage. Um, definitely ever so slightly purpleening. You can tell I have a type of my grages. I love it when they twinge ever so slightly towards the purple side of things. Um, but this one is another one that I will have to come back and do some comparisons, especially to my Zoyas. I feel like I might, might have a polish that sort of pulls towards this. I actually might have two from Zoya in this color family. So we'll have to come back there, pull my Essies, pull my Zoyas, and see if I can uh, have, find any that are duplicates for each other and pick my favorite formula. But for the time being, we'll hold on to it. Next is one from Different Dimension. This is Shop Till You Drop. This was a Black Friday gift with purchase. I'm not sure what year, but I will definitely be holding on to this. This is another one of those types of polishes that has those gorgeous multi-chrome flakies and holographic flakes, or at least holographic fine particles. I can't quite tell. I think I want to say they're flakies just from how they're looking on the nail, but most definitely keeping this. It is still somewhat unique to my collection and I really, really like the color. So keeping that. Next up is one from Dollish Polish. This is She's Just Not That Into You. I think I might go ahead and de-stash this one. It is a really beautiful polish. Look at the glass flag in there. I just haven't worn it. And this type of color, I just haven't found myself really being drawn to. So I have to, it has to be very specific polish for me to be drawn to it or to, to imagine myself wearing it. So I'm trying to get rid of the polishes that don't, uh, what's the phrase, bring me joy. <laughs> So for the time being, we're just going to go ahead and, and de-stash it. And if I change my mind at some point, I can always change my mind unless it sells. But <laughs> that was a dollish polish. She's just not that into you. Next up is one from the Lady Varnishes. This one is She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not. I think this one came out in Polish Pickup. I'm definitely holding on to this one. I was really excited to see this when it came out and I still have yet to wear it, but I absolutely love the combination of this deep navy base full of multi-chrome flakies, full of this red to gold to green shifting shimmer and holographic. It's absolutely gorgeous, definitely keeping. Next up is another one from ILNP. This one is called Mayfield. It's another of their multi-chrome flakies this time in a variety of dark blues to purples to gold and green. I think you can sort of see the gold popping up towards the edge of the bottle, but definitely keeping those again until I can come back and do some comparisons to my flaky polishes. We'll be holding on to that. Next up is one from LA Colors and their color craze line. This is Space Cadet. And I think, hmm, I think I might de-stash this one. Yeah, I think I'll de-stash this one. It's a pretty unique polish, which is why I picked it up from this brand. It's an inexpensive and affordable brand, and I thought it was really unique to come out with this type of a shimmer formula. Oftentimes when you see these, they're glitter, and this type of a shimmer polish intrigued me, so I wanted to see how that was, but we'll go ahead and de-stash that. So yay, that is four in my de-stash from this box. Doing pretty good this time. <laughs> All right. Next up is another one from Supernatural Lacquer. This is RFI. This is from the Phantasmic Flakies box, uh, March 2018. Another that I'm definitely keeping, this is a beautiful purple that has a bit of blue when you look at it in certain lighting, plus the uh, multi-chrome and possibly iridescent flakies and shimmer. There's a lot going on, definitely keeping it. It's beautiful. Next up is one from Glam Paint. Lacquer. Again, I think this might be a brand that doesn't make polish anymore. I got this from a D-Stash and this one is called Barbie Jeep. I think I'm keeping this. It's really fun. It's one that I could have pulled out for my spring rack. Could also make sort of a, an accent nail for a summer polish, but a really fun mix there. You can see the variety of glitters in there. So holding on to that one. One from Sally Hansen in the Hard as Nails line. This one is called Purple Pizzazz. 
And I'm keeping this because this is absolutely beautiful. It's a glass fleck formula that you can sort of see there down at there at the edge of the bottle. Really beautiful. I'll have to see if I actually like the brush. I can never remember which Sally has and I don't like the brush on. But this one actually seems pretty good. Oh, it's their slimmer bottles. So yeah, this one in their Hard as Nails line I actually like. So we will definitely be holding on to that one. Next up is one from Lemming Lacquer. And this one is Cosmic Dips. We're just gonna edit it there. <laughs> but I think it will be keeping this for the time being, again, until I can come back and do some comparisons of my Purple Flake Youth polishes. But it's really beautiful. It's a juicy, vibrant purple shade full of iridescent flakies. So I will be holding on to that one. Next up, we've got one from Seven. I don't even know where these were sold. I got this again in a de-stash. This one is called Psychedelic. And I think I will de-stash this. I was gonna say I was gonna keep it, but it's one of those types of shimmers that I see a lot in brands. So I probably do have a dupe somewhere in my collection that's at least close, if not exact. Maybe even from an indie brand. It is really gorgeous, but I think I will de-stash that one. Next up is another one from ILNP. This one is called Charmed. I'm definitely holding on to this one. This is one of their holographic formulas. It's a really unique shade of sort of a cross between like a rose color and a purple. It's really unique, somewhat dusty, and it's holographic. Definitely keeping it. <laughs> Next up, we've got one from Leisha's Lacquer. This is, I think this is pronounced uh, Fey Dodo but I do believe it came out in one of her New Orleans collections, and I will most definitely be keeping this. This is a huge Flaky Bomb Plus shimmer. It's really rather unique to my collection and very, very beautiful, so keeping that one. Next up, we've got one from Navni. This one is called Space Eggplant. This one, unfortunately, was a victim of my melting salt lamp, so the bottle label is damaged, but I will definitely be holding on to this one. Look at that beautiful shift in there really beautiful polish. Next up is one from Color Club. This one is called Alias. I might de-stash this one. It is one of their older bottles, so it's got the little floral cap. Um, it's just one of those colors, again, I seem to be de-stashing this kind of um, deeper, mysterious polish. It's just not one that I reach for, and I think I it was one of the kinds of polishes that I bought a lot of back in the day when I first discovered Indies and just this type of polish in general. So I have a bunch of them and I just don't wear them as often as I have been wearing other shades. So I think this is another for the de-stash pile. We are up to six. That is, I think, the most I've de-stashed in one video in a long time. The <laughs> next up, we've got one from Simple Colors. This is Let Me Go. I know I got this one in a de-stash, and for the time being, I will be keeping it. This will be another candidate of ones to come back eventually and do some side-by-side -side comparisons, but I really love the shift on this. Purple with blue or even green, like this one has sort of a shift between uh, aqua and blue, are one of my favorite combinations, so I no doubt have something kind of similar, but I will be holding on to it for the time being. Next up is one from Femme Fatale. This is the last great fire drake. Definitely holding on to this one. This is gorgeous. I don't have anything else quite like this in my collection. It is sort of a berry shade full of a blue to aqua to green shifting shimmer, which I think actually goes to purple as well, plus some gold holographic uh, glitter in there. Really beautiful, very unique, definitely keeping it. Next up is one from Leighton Denny. This one is called Be My Berry. And if I'm remembering correctly, when I got this in, I believe, a Goodwill bag, someone was saying that this is like a UK brand, I think. Yeah, UK. So it's hard to come by, which is why I was holding onto it. And it's a really beautiful type of red, almost like a red metallic. So I will be holding onto that. Oh, actually, look at that. It's almost got like a berry tone to the base. Yeah, holding onto that. It's beautiful. Next up is another from Sinful Colors. This one is called Set the Dua Tone. And definitely keeping this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful shimmer polish from Sinful Colors. Again, mixing two of my favorite colors. You've got an aqua to green shimmer in a beautiful purple base. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I will have to come back and do some comparisons to most of these, but love that one for the time being. Next up is another one from Crow's Toes. This one is called Little Miss Cyanide. I'm holding on to almost all of my Crow's Toes that I have, uh, at least for now until I need to do a really deep dive de stash but this is it on its own in the nail ring behind it. And then this was sort of a swatch 
experiment that I did with it over another color, I think a teal, and I really liked how it turned out. So we'll be keeping that for the time being. And since Crosto's doesn't make polish anymore, like I said, I've been sort of holding on to most of the polishes that I've managed to grab. Next up is another one from Navni Beauty. This one is called Steel Yard Sunset. Keeping this one, it's a beautiful polish. You can see it sort of shift to pink and gold there at the edges. Holding on to that one. Next up is one from Models Own. This one is called Disco Mix. Uh, well, it's drying out. No, it's not drying out, it's just separating. <laughs> All of those gaps are actually still full of the base. Um, I think I might get rid of this. I got it in a D-stash and I just haven't been wearing, I, I haven't worn it yet. So we're, we're making the cut, we're making the decision. I like it, but we're making the decision. That's gonna be D-stash. All right, next up is one from, I think this is Bliss. Bliss Polish, and it is called Bliss Made Me Do It. Not sure what year. I actually don't know if this brand rebranded or if they still make polish anymore. This one is on the sheerer side. Um, I'm not sure if this was made intentionally as like a topper, um, but I haven't worn it and I've had it for years, so I think I will de-stash that one as well. We are on a roll, people. Eight polishes down. Next up is one from Blush Lacquer. This is Life Finds a Way. I actually have two bottles of this now. I got one when it first came out, I think, in Polish Pickup. It was either that or HHC, but I want to say Polish Pickup. Obviously inspired by uh, Jurassic Park. And then I got one in a mystery box. So I have two bottles of this. Yeah, so here's my second one. So I have two of them. I don't think I need two of them. What's funny is I think they are slightly different. The one that has the swatch ring on it I bought, and the one that is on the left I got in the D-Stash box. And it's not like they're drastically different, but I'm seeing like a more green on the one that I bought and more of a blue on the one that I got in the mystery. So interesting. Still don't know that I need both of them. But they are beautiful. I <laughs> just found, found that interesting that there's a slight a slight difference there. Huh. Alright, but in any case, keeping one, de-stashing the other. Really proud of myself. I'm doing good this time. Alright. Oh, and I lost one of the labels. So this is another victim of the <laughs> melting salt lamp. And apparently it de-adhesified the glue, if that's even a term. <laughs> but the little label fell off. It's a morning frost. I believe this would have come off of one from Never Enough. I think if I'm recognizing the font, maybe. They changed their font a lot, but I'll have to look around, but definitely holding on to that label so that I can put it on when I find the missing, the bottle that's missing its label. Oh, and here's the little swatch ring for that sinful colors. The one in the stoned shimmer collection. All right, next up is one from Sinful Shine. This one is called Kitten. This is a cream formula, looks like. Let's see. I love the name, obviously, but um, is it one that I probably have a dupe for somewhere in my collection? Probably. Yeah, probably. I mean, maybe. It's sort of a, an interesting dusty putty pink. Maybe I will hold on to it for the time being until I can come back and do a side-by-side -side comparison to some other colors because it's unique but I don't know how it would compare to some of the other colors in this family. Mm, but it might be dustier, like chalky in a good way. Uh, so I'll hold on to that for the time being, because I am curious. Uh, next up is another from Glam Paint. This one is called Raspberry Crush. No, nope, I think I'm going to de-stash it. I think I'll de-stash it. It needs a really good shakeup, but I don't think it's drying out. Yeah, no, it's still moving around well in there. Just sort of settled, but really beautiful polish. I just, I got this in a D-stash, I think a couple of years ago by now. Actually, no, I take that back. 20, anyone else like this? I'm blurring 2020 and 2021 just together as one lump year. So I'm pretty sure I got this in like 2019. So I've had it for a while. Um, so we'll D-stash that one as well. We are on a roll, people. All right, next up is one from LA Colors. This one is Vertigo. This one sort of reminds me of that one from Simple Colors in the Stoned Collection. Somewhat similar in the type of 
shimmer that I'm seeing, except this time it's shimmer, not um, a flaky. It is more on the gray side of grayish. But I think because I have, I think because I have that um, sinful colors and I have this kind of color quite a lot, I think it will de-stash it. Next up is another from Sinful, uh, from LA Colors. Did I say Sinful Colors on that last one? That was LA Colors if I misspoke. Um, but this is an LA Colors in the metal, uh, metal, metal finish, if I can even speak, metal finish line. This is called Majestic. This uh, is not it swatched. I don't know what that is. Uh, but in any case, let's see how it looks in the bottle not plain metallic like i would have expected this to be almost like a chrome-esque finish but it definitely has like a purple larger fleck metallic let's see how it looks because i don't have a swatch ring i've got one last little nail ring there do i want to keep you yeah it is really pretty that's it in one coat sort of a glistening metallic look Try a second coat. I don't think I quite got enough. Nope, there we go. Back to the brush works. Yay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do like it. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. I like it. Uh, it's unique enough. I don't think I have another polish like it, so we'll keep it for right now. Uh, next up is one from Sayuri. This one is called Mei Long, and I think I will de-stash this one. I've had it for mm, a few years at least, and I have yet to wear it. And I have a ton of gray polish and a ton of purple polish. This is one that sort of rides the line, which as you've probably guessed from this box, I, I buy a lot of that type of polish. But I haven't worn this one, and I think it needs to be in a home where someone's gonna wear it. So we'll put it in the V-stash. We're up to 12 polishes, people. That is, I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's awesome. The next up is one from Butter London. This is Petrol. Definitely keeping this one. This was one of those polishes that I kept eyeing from them and I finally got one, I think in a D-stash. Yeah, I think in a D-stash. So definitely holding on to that one. Next up is one from Formula X. This one is called Racy. See, this is actually more of the finish that I thought this would come out in, except in a deeper, more jewel-toned color. Um, and I only wore this one time, and I hated the formula. The formula was really patchy, and it was the kind of formula that, if you weren't used to how to apply it, you would take off the first coat when you went to apply the second coat. So it was really frustrating to apply. I haven't worn it since. Um, it is a really pretty color though, and if you know how to apply it, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal, but it took a while for me to get used to how to apply it. Um, did I love it enough to try it again? Meh. We'll, we'll de-stash it. I'll find the cap and we'll de-stash it. Now that I've sold you guys on it, on how frustrating it is to apply. <laughs> Next up is one from, one from MDJ Creations. This is a Victory. Holding onto this one, I love the tone of this. It's sort of a blurbly shade full of flaky use and hollow and shimmer. Maybe not hollow, maybe it's just shimmer. And then he's keeping it. Love the tone. Next up is one from Revlon, part of their perfumery line. This was called Moonlit Woods. And obviously I got it for $1.50 from Big Lots. So <laughs> that was one of the places that I used to find polishes. Uh, from different brands quite a lot. This was back in Reno and I have not been able to find any, at least not too many, locally at my local big lots here in Washington. They just don't seem to carry many. They only carry a couple of brands and I used to be able to find Revlon and Formula X Sephora polishes quite a lot. I would find bunches of polish there, but in any case, it's been a while. Um, this was probably about eight years ago <laughs> that I got this. Um, I'm wondering... Nope, I'm de-stashing it. We're de-stashing it. It's beautiful, but I haven't worn it, I think, in the entire time that I've owned it. We'll let someone else enjoy it. Okay, next up is one from Native War Paints. This is part of their Classics collection. This is named Jessica. 
This one probably needs a really, really good shake. But let's see, about the color, will I keep this one? I think I'm gonna de-stash this one as well. Um, again, this is sort of a type of polish that I used to get quite a lot. And I, when you're first introduced to, uh, I think indie brands in general, you aren't really sure which ones you're gonna, not just like when you see them, but like and actually wear. And I haven't worn this one since I bought it. So I think we will de-stash that one. That is 15 polishes that we've pulled. That's a record for me. Up next is one from Pure Ice. This one is You're Kidding Me, and I'm definitely keeping this. This is a beautiful, beautiful polish. It's a full bottle, and like I said, they aren't making it Pure Ice anymore, so I'm keeping it. It's an absolutely beautiful polish that mixes blue and purple together. It's a keeper. And then the last polish is from Butter London. This one is called Posh Bird. Will I keep this one? As you can see, I was sort of on a kick to find the right shade of a purple metallic. This one isn't an, a strict per se metallic. It's somewhat of a grayy purple base with some metallic uh, glitter in it or glass fleck. I think I will de-stash this. I just, I haven't worn it and I don't see myself in the foreseeable future. So yeah, we'll de-stash that one. All right, well, there we have it. That is 16 polishes that I am de-stashing from that one box. That is a record. If you see any here that you like, make sure to check out my de-stash, which is a Wild Moon de-stash. I'll have that posted down below. I already have probably 70 polishes de-stashed, finally. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been finally getting through and posting pictures there. Uh, but these will be up uh, in the next couple of days if they aren't already. And I think that's it. We'll uh, try this again in another box and see if we can't get rid of more polish. So that was it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and I will see you in the next one.